guys, welcome back to my vegan kitchen. Our vegan kitchen, actually. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I only have these clothes to wear, and I just came in from the rain walking my dog, so... But don't let that detract from how amazing this recipe is going to be. We did this recipe six years ago on our a long time channel. ago, before we were even vegan. And it just so happens to be vegan. Imagine that. Well, now it is. Oh, right. The other one had honey, I'm pretty well, sure. Well, it had agave. Or honey. But we used agave. So we were still being vegan. Anyway, it's so simple. It's so good. What is it? It's oatmeal, peanut butter, chocolate, cookies. No bakes. So it's summertime. Did you know? I know. There's a lot going on. But these cookies are going to make it all better. Not really. But they taste good. And they're semi-healthy for you. So let's get started. The best part is you don't have to turn on the oven because it's too hot to do that. But we're going to do a uh, part of it on the stove. We're going to do most of it on the stove. We have a nice pot here. And if anybody's interested, this is uh, from TJ Maxx. Everyone always asks about my fry pans and uh, this pot in particular because it has a ceramic granite looking coating on it. This pan looks brand new. Except for the handles melting a little bit. Huh. But um, the coating on this is so superior. And I use metal in here and it does not scratch the coating. It's phenomenal. TJ Maxx, like 15 bucks. You're going to love it. Anyway, we're starting off with some peanut butter. Don't worry about the amounts. They're going to be in the info box below. The whole recipe with a crude description. Bonus! So we started off with the peanut butter again. We're going to add some milk and I'm using uh, oat milk. You don't have to use oat milk, but I can't use almond milk because it does not agree with me. I have an intolerance and uh, that's why it's so great that oat milk is making its resurg or surgence now because can't deal with the other stuff and what would I drink soy that's a lot of soy then <laughs> we're also gonna add a little bit of fat I have my uh, Nutiva butter flavored coconut oil you don't have to use coconut oil you could use vegan butter just melt it actually you don't even have to melt it I'm doing a third of a cup I think my original recipe called for a half a cup but I'm going to just take it that one little step healthier right now. And then uh, we're also going to add a pincher of salt. Find the praying mantis to put a pincher of salt in there for you. We're going to use a splash of vanilla extract. We're going to use some cacao. Now this is a coffee scoop, so I'm just going to round it a little bit here. We're going for half a cup. Not, I'm sorry, we're going for a quarter of a cup. <laughs> that would be really chocolatey. Mm. And final ingredient would be this beautiful monk fruit sweetener. Now the original recipe had agave syrup in it, but this is really good. And I just saw on the bag that it's autism approved. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> I guess, you know, isn't it like good for all kids? I guess. If it's like less sugar, especially kids with autism though, we're only going to do half a cup. Because this stuff is kind of sweet. Er, I feel, they say it's one to one, but I feel like it's a little bit sweeter than sugar. So let's take this over to the stove. I'm going to put this below medium, but not quite low. And we're just going to bring it up to the boil. Make sure it's all mixed together. All right, so we're just coming up to the boil. Just make sure that everything is completely dissolved. And when you're satisfied, turn it off. <laughs> In this bowl over here, I've got my three cups of old fashioned oats. These are organic. All right, so now we're just going to give this a good mix and it's quite hot I burned myself the other day when I was uh, making these <laughs> so be careful they're very hot make sure everything gets completely coated 
and just let it sit a little bit to make sure that all of the liquid gets uh, absorbed into the oats because we're going to be scooping these out onto the sill pat and you don't want any of the liquid like dripping off the sill pat so just let it uh, suck it up make sure it's all sucked up all right these are cooled off a little bit not completely but they're pretty nice to work with they're pretty solid what we're going to do is we're going to, I guess this is probably about a quarter of a cup scoop, maybe a little bit less, and then we're just going to flatten it a little bit. And we're going to leave them on here, pretty them up a little bit. <laughs> You're going to leave them on here until they go to room temperature, and then we're going to pop these in the refrigerator for as long as possible. The longer the better, because that's just going to help suck up all of the liquid and make it really firm and like, like a cookie. So, let me get busy. Wow. Ooh, looking good. Just took them out of the fridge. These are a little bit crumbly, mm -hmm. but they are delicious. I snuck some. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> I think you're really going to like these. Yeah. <laughs> a little crumbly, like she said. Ooh, chocolatey. Yeah. Those are so mm. eatable. It's really good. You know what I mean? It's like, not too sweet. Right. Not. You wouldn't know that that was like um, a sugar substitute because mm -hmm. it, it just tastes good. I love the peanut butter in there. Oh, that's a perfect breakfast cookie. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Well, I mean. It like, is a little sweet. I mean, Like before sweet. biking or after biking or purse cookie or I mean to each her own oh you like more cardboard I can't eat sweet stuff in the morning usually but all right so it's your perfect afternoon cookie <laughs> how would that be crumbled on some nice cream it is delicious Ooh, I think I'm gonna make some like oat milk nice cream and That'd be uh, good. make some mix-ins with these cookies I mean right? even just on their own they're so good they're really good. super chocolatey yeah, that's the best part. And I don't like oatmeal. No, you don't. So for me to say these are good, mm -hmm. that's saying a lot. Yeah, that's delicious. All right, well, you know what to do, kids. Smash the like button and subscribe. What are we, teenagers? <laughs> yes. Um, but anyway, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, leave a comment. Uh, let us know if you make it. Send us a picture. We'd love to see it. And um, stay safe out there. Wear a mask. Mm -hmm. And until next time, much love.